Welcome back to V Top 10 in today's video we're counting down Kevin the Flushing Flash Kelly best knockouts. Number 10. Kevin Kelly vs Jesus Pole. On May 13, 1993, Kelly beat Jesus Pole by TKO at 2:10 in round 6 of 10 at Paramount Theater New York City. Yeah. Had one world championship fight, that was for the WBA Super Bantamweight title back in 89. Nice left there and down goes Pole. These are good shots. So that would suggest one of two things. Either he's lost his punching power or he's been fighting men with Bring the head up with an uppercut. Kelly really grinding out the resistance. Oh, lovely shot. Again, a big hefty left hand from Kelly, followed by a right hook. Paul wants to win this. He really desperately needs a good win. And that's gone over again. That's the third time he's hit the deck. Step forward. And again, Kelly strikes with the left hand, holds still under pressure. And well, that time he just went Kelly is a good finisher. Lovely right hook. What a good exhibition this from Kevin Kelly. And the referee immediately. Number 9 Kevin Kelly versus Raul Franco. On April 27, 2002, Kelly beat Raul Franco by TKO at 1.05 in round 2 of 10 at Stratosphere Las Vegas. Take time off and they say the same thing, I'm in the talk, now we gotta see can you back it up. Well theatrics is suck, showed it in fights with uh, guys like Ahmed. Now the only downside of that, in a way, is that there are no easy fight fighter. I had the pleasure of seeing a lot of his fight. Almost. Not Takes a while to get warmed up. Oh. Missed for the oh. wild shot. He slipped there. Yeah, just, a, just a little bit. And his first round is coming to an end. Glad you're with us on Roy Jones Jr. Presents. Well, all kind of junk and not starve himself. Kevin Kelly sets. And our last one. Oh! Carter with a straight left hand with him. Mouthpiece comes out. He's searching for his mouthpiece. He's out. He's out. He's out again. Number 8. Kevin Kelly vs. Juan Carlos Ramirez. On February 17, 2006, Kelly beat Juan Carlos Ramirez by knockout at 2.29 in round 2 of 10 at Cicero Stadium, Illinois. Let's see if this night can be rich. Dice, me siguen cuando peleo contra otro peleador, pero me dicen, discúlpanos, pero cuando peleas con un bot, cuatro asaltos, se retiró por todo lo que le restaba del 2003. Pido pésame por el fallecimiento de su hermano Javier. Don, de pies, entre estos dos púgiles, eso también le ayudó al ranchero para poder, que traía muy arriba los pantaloncillos. Se lo sube eh, prácticamente hasta las axilas, sumamente rápido. Por supuesto que conforme avanzan los años, no lo mismo los... ¡Oh! ¡Qué mano izquierda por parte de Kevin Kelly! ¡Está en problemas al mexicano y la apaga las luces prácticamente! ¡Esa mano izquierda del doble! Y está completamente torcido ahí Juan Carlos de Ranchero Ramírez y no se va a poder incorporar. ¡No solo fue el... Number 7. Kevin Kelly vs. Roberto Villarreal. On September 25, 1992, Kelly beat Roberto Villarreal by knockout at 2.40 in round 3 of 10. Top uh, tour's performance tonight. Kelly, good combination. Okay. Throw a couple of punches the way Kelly did and they stopped to admire their work. But Kelly moved right back to the fight than he had in his previous fight. Yeah, Real was just pawing with that jab. Good left hand by Kelly. And again. Setting it up nicely. 
There's another good left hand by Kelly. Kelly with a good flurry and a left hand that landed beautifully, sending down Villarreal. The count is six. The count is eight. He will not get up. It's all over. Number six. Kevin Kelly versus Sandro Marcos. On November 4, 2005, Kelly beat Sandro Marcos by TKO at 2.23 in round 4 of 10. A pesar de que tiene 38 años de edad y el trabajo al cuerpo que está demostrando a estas alturas, él es de UCLA, celeste y dorado, nuevamente. Estuvo ya en Nueva York, es para mis pobres. Ah, ok, 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 buena momento. Cuando se pelea un sudo con un derecho porque el pie de apoyo y que izquierda conecta ahora Sandro Marcos a la mandíbula de Kevin Kelly y lo envía Allá en La Paz, Baja California, viene el uppercut de, de la derecha por parte de Kevin Kelly. Este es el punto fuerte de Sandro Marcos, aunque por el momento lo envió la lona con una derecha arriba. Y hacen daño a Marcos, se lo quitan de encima. Nosotros vamos a la pausa y regresamos con más en solo boxeo de Miller. Los que buscan la oportunidad de título mundial. La gana ya Kevin Kelly lo hace pagar con el gancho a la zona hepática. Sandro Marcos, excelente, abanicó a todos. Muchas, muy malas intenciones de Marcos ahí. La forma con el jab es eh, impecable que alguien que pero ahí comete el error de no regresar la mano derecha a la zona defensiva y ahí un gancho. Luz Morel le tomó la cuenta de protección a Marcos, pero precisamente lo que va a hacer Kevin Kelly comenzando, le faltan 40 segundos y vuelve a visitar la lona. Luz Morel dice que... Number 5. Kevin Kelly vs. Agustín Silva. On December 15, 1988, Kelly beat Agustin Silva by TKO at 2.38 in round 4 of 4. And we'll be heading home to Puerto Rico. Oh, very elusive targets and has good upper body movement. Slip that yeah. punch, very smooth. Ranking, number 12 in another. And then later, Alex Stewart. On Both guys are trying to unload now, Sam. Kelly starting to use the quick hands on the inside. There's a chopping left that got in. Back in the same corner, right above us. And Kelly knows he can punch. Kelly continues to corner Silva. He's very wise against this kid. Kelly moving in confidently now. How do you line this? You kind of just hang. Yeah. Dan beats the other guy to the punch. That's what it's all about. That's why you train that. There it is now. Real short. Snappy. Just working him over here. Oh, down goes Silva for the combination. It's all over. No count. Number four. Kevin Kelly versus James Pips. On July 23, 1991, Kelly beat James Pips by TKO at 0-26 in round 4 of 10. By decision. When you move to your right, what you're doing is making a slug press out of it, as Pips did then, and he gets nailed by some pretty solid punches. Kelly forward to that right hand, and he's off balance. Kelly stumbled, but recovered quickly. And using the Golden Gloves champion, New York Golden Gloves champion. Wow, that's impressive. Long, hard work from trying to climb back into number one contention. Right now, Kelly is all over. Trying to apply some inside pressure. Good, fast combination by Kelly. And the straight left hand is scoring big. Pips trying to hold on here. Kelly all over Pips. And every punch on the mark set that straight left so well. Pips has come in with a couple of good right hands. Four winning. Beautiful combination. Down goes Pips. And the fight is over. It's Number three. Kevin Kelly versus Jose Vida Ramos. On September 24, 1994, defending WBC featherweight title Kelly beat Jose Vida Ramos by TKO at 158 in round 2 of 12. It gets better as it goes along. Kelly trying to find the range. The both side of the scene seems kind of hard to try to find. And good left hook by Ramos. Coming a little more animated here. 
And firing more shots to the body and a good crunching right cross. Landing a couple shots, moving to the outside. Nice right cross by Kelly and a good straight hard left hand. Driving Ramos back. Figures out what angle he wants and then explodes. Nice left hand and a right down. No Ramos. The crowd on its feet. Kelly with a variety of moves, caught Ramos off balance, and now he drives him back some more. Ramos in huge. Having to keep uh, shutting up the distance between the two, but we couldn't hit the wheel with it. Long Ramos long. is down again, and his head hit the canvas. That could be it. His head hit the canvas, and that should be it. Number 2. Kevin Kelly versus Orlando Fernandez. On July 12, 1997, defending WBU featherweight title Kelly beat Orlando Fernandez by knockout at 0-15 in round 10 of 12. He doesn't snap that jab out with some authority. There he did, and put the left behind it. Now a, now a low while these two do a little shadow boxing. Big left hand for Kelly. He had to carry that thing down there, was so heavy. Oh, a big swinging right hand by... So alert our ABC stations that at the conclusion of this round, we're going to take a station break. Best one can do it. away but swung a sweeping right to connect it there was a left hand and a good combination right there you hear me Kevin Kelly loses balance but come forward and land a good punch right. and there's blood I don't know if it's from where there's blood on Orlando Fernandez might be the nose he's taking some heavy punishment here five six seven punches landing by Kevin Kelly The jab here would do a couple of things for Kevin Kelly. Not only would it set up his left. He has three more rounds to go if it goes to a 12-round conclusion. On, and it's at this stage of the fight, Dan, that if I... Oh! Oh! It's over! Left hand! Number 1. Kevin Kelly versus Derek Gaynor. On June 15, 1996, defending WBU featherweight title Kelly B. Derek Gaynor by knockout at 2.16 in round 8 of 12. Hand and before you try to land the left, at least touch him with the right hand jab before you try to bring that power punch. Rippling up on the jab there, Derek Gaynor still for the most part beating Kevin Kelly to the punch. Gaynor sees the... And now Gaynor goes down. Punch combination, four punches, five punches, six punches by Gator, and Kelly goes down. And you heard his trainer Bill Borgia saying, forget it, you're just going to have to work around it. And down goes Gator. Kevin Kelly drawing on his desperation. Eric Gaynor's punch out foot, which had been up around 60, flings that powerful straight left hand. And I think he's starting to hurt Gaynor to the body with shots. And stay on the outside and win. Blood trickling from Kevin Kelly's nostrils now. Both sides bleeding. Down goes Gaynor. A left hand up in. And Gaynor may not get up. He will not get up. Six. Why seven, would he fight a fight like that? Arturo. Thank you for watching. Please like comment and subscribe.